Hey everyone, my name's Lawrence and in today's video we're going to take a look at C-sharp and see why it's such a popular language and why it's growing in popularity on the server side and even the client side. We're going to touch upon things like the Uno platform as well as the scalability using Wasam and many other features of its web API. So if you're going to like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the ding dong bell, join the mailing list where we've got loads of free goodies for you, link in the description down below and let's get on with the video and make sure you stay tuned because at the end of the video I will give my personal opinion on whether I think C sharp is going to be the new JavaScript for beginners so why is C sharp becoming so popular now I am a Linux advocate and we all know that Microsoft is an enemy of it but the reason why I genuinely love this language is because of its simplicity and the fact that it's growing in not only the Linux space, but also in many other aspects as well. The one really great thing about C Sharp now is it's fully open source. It's now able to run on Linux as well as many other platforms, including Mac OS, iOS, Android, and even Windows and predominantly most C Sharp developers will be on the Windows platform. One of the major frameworks in here is the Uno platform. This shows you the scalability of this language. The fact that you can write that once, you can run it in the web browser using Wasam. You can also run it on Android, iOS, Linux, Windows and also Mac. Now yes, it's not a silver bullet. Yes, there will be differences between the platform and how you code. But one of the really major reasons why this is so great is this framework lets you do all the data binding like you normally would and also it gives you easy styling such as CSS styling for your interface. Data binding between your information that you've got on your application state and the actual user interface. It's such a great platform, it's very well documented and the C-sharp language itself is very, very well documented. Now it's also important to note that the .NET framework is also open sourced and has now gone from proprietary to open. So even that framework that creates a general API between all of these platforms is now open. So as Microsoft has started to open this technology, and I'm assuming it's because of Azure and Oracle making a deal, and Microsoft being more compatible and more accepting of open technologies, that people are really starting to embrace what Microsoft is doing here. And it's a positive for the open community as far as I can see. There's also something really important to note with Wasam. Wasam lets you run all sorts of native languages directly in the browser. So what it will do is it will take whatever native language you're using, such as C Sharp, C++, or whatever it is, and then convert that into Wasam bytecode. And that bytecode can be run in the browser. So the Uno platform will let you code for native applications, fully native, and it will also compile to Wasam, which is a WebAssembly sort of language that will basically take that bytecode, interpret it, and then run it in the browser. And if you think that this is something brand new or it's not compatible, it is. Wasam is actually supported in all major browsers today, including Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and Brave. Now what's really great about C Sharp and its growing popularity is the documentation. Microsoft has done an incredibly professional job of marketing this programming language with great documentation and great features. It has built-in features such as Web API and also has great documentation on how to make microservice architecture using C Sharp. So not only is it great to run on the client side and with user interfaces, it's also great to run on the server with ASP and C Sharp being at the core of that. So that number one, it runs very quickly. It is used in a lot of production environments. It is open and you can now run it on the Linux platform as well. And you get all the good features of good documentation, good APIs and good frameworks that you can run not only front end, but also back end as well. So why is C Sharp a good language to learn? Well, it's mainly that, scalability, right? You can write it once and you can run it anywhere. That is really 
the best thing for a programmer. I don't have to learn many technologies to try and get something to work. I can just write once and then I get many things to work over many, many platforms. It's scalability is the X factor for this particular language. It's a great product and it has great features. So at the beginning of this video, I promised to give you my opinion on whether C Sharp was gonna be the new JavaScript. Well, no. Obviously, most people are gonna to want to write JavaScript because it's a lot easier. However, do I think that C Sharp will become extremely popular? Yes, I do. Just like JavaScript did for the web, I think C Sharp will do for the native, such as iOS, Android, and many more applications that you can develop natively across multiple desktop and mobile applications. So yes, it will do, but more on the native side of things and possibly even on the server side of things. But when it comes to the traditional web, obviously JavaScript will still remain kingpin. So if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a nice big thumbs up as well. That would be much appreciated. Join the newsletter where I will share my source code with you. And also you will get loads of free goodies attached with the newsletter as well. Link in the description down below for that. Thank you very much for watching and here's some more content that you can click on and take a look at.